Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to get a bit of a break from the rain and it's going to be really sunny and really warm. Um, there's some planting and stuff that I really need to get out there and get caught up on. So if you hold on, we'll get to that footage. Okay, so the first bags that I want to work on are these two square boxes that the peas were in. Now I've already conditioned recondition the soil uh, last week but we did get a little bit of rain and um, well more than a little bit but um, I did put a little bit of jobs on the top and um, what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to put some cantaloupe on the side with the trellis so that they can crawl and do whatever they want all the way up that trellis and um, I'm going to put some butterfly root on the other side um, just to help like with the um, watermelons put some flowers in here and um, get some more bees. It's always good to keep the pollinators happy and um, exactly what I intend to do. So get a few of these cantaloupe seeds out. I'm just going to put them on the right side of the bed. Because um, I want them to go ahead and climb this trellis. Now the other name for a butterfly root or um, butterfly bush is a pleurisy root. And um, I'm going to try to get as many of them as I can in here. We've, we've had so much rain, and um, today there isn't much of a chance of rain, but it's supposed to rain this weekend. So I'm going to try to take advantage of today and get as many of these reconditioned beds going again as I can. It's nice to have beds that um, you can just keep planting in. So I've got this bed planted, and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get the other one done. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, this is another reconditioned bed that I'd like to get planted today. Um, this is where I had the spinach, and you can see I still have pole beans over there climbing the trellis. But... What I'd really like to do is get some butternut squash planted in here. And um, they can crawl out of the bed over here into the yard. But I did recondition this bed the same day 
that I did the other ones over there. So I did put a little bit of Job's in here. So what I'm going to do is butternuts really like to bind. But I'm going to stir this just a little bit and level it out. Um, I'm going to plant um, nine seeds for each square, for each half of the box. And they are under a nice big tree here, but there's plenty of room for them to come out and vine. If you haven't noticed over the years, squashes, one of my favorite things from the garden. And I really enjoy when uh, we have fresh spring squash. And I like to store the acorns and the butternuts over in winter. So, I'm trying to get as many of these in here as I can. Make sure to give the beans a little bit of room, too. guys covered up. Now, um, the next thing I want to do is um, I want to go over by the chicken coops, and I've got some pots over there that need something planted in them. So I'm going to go head over that direction, and I'll be right back. Okay, the next, <laughs> the next spot that I want to plant is I want to get these four pots planted. Um, we're over here by the blue lace pen. And what I want to do, is I have sunflower seeds and loofah seeds. And um, Miss Cheryl, over at Pennington Garden Place, has sent these to me. And I've never grown them before. So we're going to put them over here. The other thing I want to do, is put those in. But I want to put some sunflowers in here too. So. I think I'm going to put three or four around the back edge of the pot. And I do that to all four of them. Hopefully the birds and the squirrels won't come up and dig those seeds out like they did in the big garden. But I'm determined it doesn't really matter how much rain we get, how much the <laughs> rabbit gets to, or the squirrels. Um, I'm going to keep replanting until I have what I want planted. So, get some more sunflowers in here. And go ahead and get these loofahs in. I've never grown these before. This ought to be a lot of fun. I'm going to put three seeds in the front of each of these pots. And they'll get lots and lots of sunshine on the side of this chicken coop. If 
few extra seeds just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and get these covered up. The dirt in these pots is still awful wet. in and I've got one more set of these big pots over by the other chicken coop and uh, I'm gonna go get the seeds for them and I'll meet you over there in just a minute okay now we are back over at the other chicken coop and um, we're at the Samani coop and what I've got is a hybrid specialty melon and it says Saver F1 and uh, Mark bought these for me and I haven't had an opportunity to plant them yet so I'm going to plant them over here and the melons love to crawl and they can just have all this space but I would like to also put some sunflowers over here too so a few of those in first. I think the giant sunflowers would be so pretty up against the chicken coop. So we got the sunflowers in. Now I want to get the melon seeds. three of those out front too. That way they can just come over the edge of that pot and keep going. I don't know if you remember, um, but we grew the Kusha squash over in, in these pots at one time and they did really, really well. And they always look so pretty growing against the chicken coop. And then they have this whole big space here that they can crawl around and do whatever they want. We'll get those padded in. Now the other thing too is when that creek floods, sometimes these pots can take some of the brunt of it. But they are good and heavy. It doesn't usually move them very much. But I have seen these pots move by that water. Okay, we got everybody patted in here. And um, that's most of what I wanted to get done today. I do have um, some weeding and... Um, a few little odd things that I've got to get to this afternoon too before it gets too hot. So I'm going to go over and um, I was thinking there's one more thing I want to um, go show you. So hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, I did realize that I didn't say anything the other day. That's the watermelons that I put in here, and they're the seedless ones, so you have to have a pollinator, which that's the, the two center mounds there. But there's a little space up here in the corner because I wanted to help the, the bees and um, all of the good pollinators that are going to come in and... Um, help get those nice and mixed up because we do have to actually cross pollinate those two plants to get um, the seedless watermelon. So I have a big pretty flower sitting out here and hopefully it will attract all the wonderful bees over here to my watermelon bed. 
And um, I'm just about done planting for the day, so I'll be back to talk to you in just a minute. Okay, so that's all the footage that I have for today, and um, it definitely is a beautiful sunny day, and it's not even noon yet. And um, I got quite a bit of what I wanted done, and um, still have some more that I gotta go out and get done this afternoon. I got a little bit of weeding and a um, little, few little odds and ends that you, you gotta keep up with every day. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Um, I'm really glad that, that you chose to spend a few minutes of your day with me. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell to let you know um, when I'm digging in the dirt again. Anyway, um, sorry, watching the cars go by. You wouldn't think that road was that busy, but it, it really can be. Anyway, back to business. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything that you might have on your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And um, if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, definitely hoping that today's video finds everybody happy, safe, and healthy. And um, don't forget, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.